Welcome to the Arizona Wildcats show brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with Zach Rosenblatt. Zach, Arizona has already clinched at least a share of the Pac-12 regular season championship. You got the Pac-12 tournament next week. The NCAA tournament just rest after the guy, that. Just rest the guys now, right? <laughs> still got to play two more. Oh, yeah, they got right. Stanford and Cal coming to town this week, and neither team is bad by any definition. Um, let's start with the Cal Bears. As you look at sort of what they've been able to do under Quanzo Martin. Is this a team that's poised to do better things going forward, a team that could be better at the end of the season than they were at the beginning? I mean, they're already better than when Arizona met them before. They were mm -hmm. in the midst of that losing streak they were in to start the conference play. Mm -hmm. They kind of got it together for, they won like five or six games and mm -hmm. lost a couple games, some good teams, and then they beat Oregon State up pretty good the other day. They have some talent. Mm -hmm. I think they've, if depending on who comes back to them, I think they could be good next year. Honestly, mm -hmm. I mean Tyrone Wallace is as good as anybody in the conference. Mm -hmm. Six foot five, do it all point guard. Mm -hmm. Jordan Matthews, really good shooter. Jabari Bird's back healthy. Mm -hmm. David Kravish has been there for like 40 years. It feels like <laughs> finally his last two games of his career this year. <laughs> David Kravish is going to have senior day, and not because he's a senior, but because he's 55 <laughs> years ARP old. Yeah, exactly. yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean they're a team that you could see like sneak in a run through the Pac-12 tournament and mm -hmm. things like that. They're fighting to get to NIT. They have a shot at that. I think they probably still need to win a couple more games, but mm -hmm. that'd be an accomplishment this year. Sure. If you're Arizona, what is your motivation? Is it now they're trying to campaign for a number one overall seed? Are they trying to, you know, ice the Pac-12 regular season championship? They just need to win one of the two. I mean, how do you stay motivated if you're the Wildcats heading into this weekend? Well, for one, there's the whole home winning streak that's mm -hmm. still on the line the last time it's they the lost. It's the nation's largest home yeah, winning streak. Yeah, after, after Gonzaga just lost, right? Right, right. Yeah, so, I mean, the last time they lost was to Cal. Mm -hmm. Allen Allen Crabb had like 35 points. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe that's a little, I don't know, maybe they don't think about that that much, but you don't want to lose on your home court, mm -hmm. especially going in the tournament, fighting for number one seed, like you said. Mm -hmm. They need to get as many wins as they can right now. Because I, I don't know, if, I still don't think they're going to be number one. A lot of teams might have to lose and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. they're in better shape now than they were a week ago. In a way, wouldn't you rather be a number two in the West than a number, number one in, anywhere else? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Arizona fans historically travel pretty well, mm -hmm. and they will no matter where they are, but especially if they're in L.A. and Portland and Seattle. Yep. Although yeah. they prefer San Diego to Portland and Seattle probably. but <laughs> Yes. Who, who wouldn't prefer San Diego to Portland, San Diego and, to Portland <laughs> and Seattle? Thank you very much for that, Zach. Um, <laughs> Going forward, Zach, who has been the biggest surprise maybe the last couple of weeks as Arizona's really kind of turned it on? Which player has impressed you? For most? Arizona? Yeah. Gabe York. Gabe York? I mean, Zeus, of course, has had his best stretch of the season, but mm -hmm. Gabe York for a little while there looked like he was kind of irrelevant and mm -hmm. wasn't what they wanted, needed him to be, and he's kind of made, he's been making shots. He's been doing more inside mm -hmm. the three-point line, mm -hmm. and he, had, he was the, maybe the reason they won that Utah game with that play he had at the end there with the offensive rebound. Well, that'll do it for this episode of the Arizona Wildcat Show, brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. For Zach Rosenblatt, I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time. Try this matchup, low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's.